Welcome back to another exciting Excel and VBA tutorial. The file we have contains some sample sales data, several columns and around 2800 rows. The yellow highlighted columns have missing values in some of the rows and we would like to select the data till the last row. This could be to copy and paste data to another row, change format or to even color the rows. One way is to select the starting cell. So let's click on cell E2, press and hold control shift and then press N and you will see this has only moved us till the last non empty cell. We would need to continue to press and hold control shift and press down arrow multiple times until we reach the last row which we have right here 2824 not fun right let's go back second method is to select the starting cell press and hold control shift and then press end button this selects all the data what you can do right now is you can continue to press the shift button and then press the left arrow several times until you reach the specific column and once you navigate to the end of the data you can see all of the data is selected let's move to the top just to make sure and yep we have all of the data selected so many steps for such a simple task and now the final and the winner method let me run the macro and with one click we have all of our data selected let me just scroll down to the end just to make sure that data is selected correctly and it has now you can move it change the format or whatever you like to do with it with that out of the way, let's dive into the visual basic screen and get coding. If you do not have developer tab visible, you can go to file options and from customize ribbon, make sure your developer tab is selected from here. Go to developer tab, click on visual basic. Once in visual basic window, make sure either your personal micro workbook is selected from here or if you have this file saved as XLSM, then great. Else you will need to save as XLSM for macros to survive in this sheet. While having one of your files selected or any module selected, go to insert click on module and this will give you an empty module to work with so let's give it a good name let's call it select last row of data so you always start a module with sub and then you give the macro name and you can see this will add the empty parentheses and the n sub as well you can change the name of the module from here as well it's a good practice to not have similar names for these two and make them a bit different now let's declare a variable that will store our last row Let's use LR to store last row. So let's declare a variable. Let's call it dim LR as we'll put this equal to single. We can also use integer, but the integer only stores numeric values from minus 32,000 to plus 32,000 rounded off. For detailed reading on this, I will add a link in description. Our first task is to find last row. There are a couple of ways to find the last row using VBA. I'm working on a video that will cover this topic and it will be out very soon. For now, I will use used range to figure out last row so let's do that put lr equals to active sheet dot used range and then we do rows and then we do count of it press f8 to step into the code we can check out the value of variable using locals window or you can hover over the variable's name and it will give you the value as well so we have 2824 here and we also have the same value here and if we scroll down a bit we have the same value here as well it means that our variable has picked up the correct last row great Next, we need to select the data from the selected cell till the end of row for the active column. We will use range combined with cells. So let's do that. If I load up Excel VBA's documentation on range, we can see that range can be used in several ways. You can give just one value to it. So let's say range A5, this will just store the one value. You can give it a continuous range. So from A1 through H8, we are selecting that specific range. You can also give it a starting and ending point. And you can also use range and cells combined as you can see here it starts with range and then it has two cells in it for our purpose we will use range combined with cells so let's do the setup and then we'll let's review it go back to our visual basic screen so the basic syntax of range is something like this so we have starting position that is cell one and the ending position with this cell two now the cells function if you open this up you can see it accepts a row index this is the row number in numeric and this is the column index which is the column number in numeric so what we are going to do is we will combine range with cells. So cells as first starting position and cells as second starting position. We will use active cell to access the active cell. So let's start filling this here. Active cell. I'm just going to make this a bit smaller so we can fit this on the screen. And move this a bit here as well. So for our first cell, we know that cell accepts row and column. So our first row will be active cell dot row. Our first column index will be active cell dot column. Now this is the ending position, this is the starting position. So let's say right now if we have this selected then this whole portion, this block represents E2. Now we need another block that should represent E2A24. Okay. 
So this is the ending position. We will use LR for the last row that we stored here. And the column, since the column will remain the same, we can just copy and paste this here. And then we will just do select. And that will select this selection. Starting from the active cell, that is the selected cell, till the last row, which we figured out from this uh, active sheet use range, rows.com. So let's test it. So let's move to cell E2, run our macro, and boom. All the columns selected till the last row. Let's just scroll it a bit down just to make sure it's selected properly. And it did. Now you can change format of it. You can make it bold and you can do whatever you like with it with this i will wrap up the video hope you had fun and learned something new if you have any questions or would like me to work on a specific project mention in the comment section till next time adios